This topic is, uh, I wish, was one of those that I could tell you to grab a bowl of popcorn and let's sit back and talk, but it's not. Um, the, the City of Moscow investment report that I'm about to present tonight is, is uh, of urgence because what I've seen over the last um, month and a half, two months, is a, a real change in investments um, that has caused our portfolio to go in a bad way negative. So I'm going to kind of go through some things here, some, some items here that you'll see. If I can get this go. We have a pol policies, cash investments. We have an investment policy, and it, pro it provides, uh, it's a long document, but it basically says that we're going to provide safety and liquidity, and as a prudent investment officer, that's me, to try to provide that, that liquidity and safety that we need with minimum risk. And our investment portfolio is divvied up into a couple, three things I want to talk about tonight. One is the Idaho Local Government Investment Pool, which is uh, the state pool. That's where a lot of cities in the state of Idaho put their monies and park it there. And, um, and I'll show you some reasons why we have not done that. I'm going to go through the investment history tonight and show you a little, a little bit about that from 2005 to 2012. Its earnings have been $6.9 million. If we had done something different than that, it would be a lot less. The investments as of August uh, 19th today, the investments in the local government investment pool is $12.9 million. Our U.S. agencies, which is the area that I'm concerned about, is about $21.3 million. And then we have just under 400000 in cash. These are the rates that the local government investment pool has been earning, and off to the inc right is the income levels that we've seen, not with the local government investment pool, but as agencies and, and the pool combined. You can see that uh, that um, there's a graph showing this short with the rates to the, to the left and then income to the right, but you can see that we've earned a substantial amount more than what the local government investment pool has offered us. And every year, um, I give a report to City Council um, annually at the end of the audit, um, stating even in the budget message as well that we beat the pool year over year over year. And so this next slide is a graph of that. Off to the left is the interest rates. Um, the green is the income. So you would see that that we have earned more than what the 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 pool has done as a comparatively speaking with the rates. On, as of August 19th, which is today, um, we had gains that were measured as of April 26th, $43,300. And the income at that point was $353,652 is what I had estimated the income to be for this year. Some changes happened beginning in May that have caused the rates to go up steadily and fast um, to, to a rate that I don't think anybody has ever anticipated. Bernanke gave a speech in mid-May saying that fe the Federal Reserve is going to start tightening policy. Investors throughout the United States and the world buy bonds from the U.S. And when that happened, when Bernanke gave that speech, um, rates started going climbing and very quickly in a matter of just the past couple of months, they went from 1.38 in the end of April to well over 2.85 today. The acceleration of that rate has caused our bonds to fall to a tune of $1.5 million in losses. When we went in April, into April, we were in profit territory. I was assured during the months of May and June that you know that that, that they'll settle in, and I'll, I'll explain to you in a minute my strategy. The strategy at the investment conference in March of 2013, there was a consensus among, invest, among economists that by the end of 2014, monetary tightening would begin. May 13, on, in May of 2013 of this year, that's when Fe, uh, Federal Reserve Chairman Bernanke gave a speech, rates started to climb, and, and also the economy has been improving. There's been a flight from all these in institutional investors that began in May of 2013 and bond selling occur occurred that exasperated these rates. 
The actions taken to date so far is I've sold $500,000 in July of 12. On July 26, I've sold $3.5 million. In August uh, of last week, I sold another half million. I think the action's still to take. I need to th sell about $14.6 million in bonds and realize the losses of the $1.5 million I'm talking about. That would leave our current portfolio is currently at 22.9 the earlier slide. The pros and cons of selling these is that it would mitigate the possible future losses, the potential of investing in bonds at higher rates, and more liquidity. The cons of selling is that we realize losses now and the rates go down and, and then we would end up reinvesting at lower rates. So I've been one of those folks that don't want to rush into a situation, but this is a situation where I think we need to. I've never done this uh, to this magnitude before in my career of 29 years. Um, I remember two, three years ago, I reported that we had $900,000 in losses, and, and uh, I was confident that we would come out ahead, and, it, and in, in that year, we actually did um, a positive growth of 350000 bucks. And so um, I can show you a slide here on the investment outlook is that th there's no guarantees that, but everyone I've spoken to uh, thinks rates are going to continue to climb. In fact, I think they're going to hit over 3% shortly. If that does that, we're going to have further losses. And so I'm, I want to let council know that this is a serious issue and I think that we need to do something. The September 30th is going to clock it anyway and we are required according to government accounting standards to record the unrealized losses and I've done that in the past but I think that these are going to be real. And so it is time to, to act on this and I think now is the time to act. I talked to the, the local government investment um, um, pool manager today and showed him our portfolio and told him what I was thinking and I highlighted uh, most of the bonds and he was suggesting that I even go further. So um, there's some bonds I don't agree with selling at this point because what I've done as a strategy to compensate for the in rise in income is I bought, buy what they call step ups. <clears throat> My losses aren't nearly as great as what could be because the steps that I've chosen in the bonds are step 100 basis points to 200 basis points to 300 basis points. The timing of what those steps are, though, is out to 2024. 20, well, this year I have had three of them step already, um, both last month in May, two in August, two in September, one in December, and two in, in March of next year. Those rates don't jump up high enough, which is why I think we need to, to go ahead and um, mitigate the damages because there's four or five bonds that I'm going to go ahead and keep. That's why I don't suggest selling all of those because even though there are half losses recorded now, they won't have losses or mitigated losses when, when they do advance up to the next step. So when I saw some of those bonds that did step up um, here this last couple months, it mitigated them, but the rates are climbing faster than, uh, than any, anybody could have ever anticipated. And I'll show you another graph that kind of shows that. Oops, no way. This graph here is the 10-year. And as you can see, that last little blimp there is from April to August. And that's the surge that we've seen over the past two years. If you see, it's been bouncing around. And, I, I usually take profit taking um, when those dips drop down, and and uh, this isn't one of those situations. The drops that you see even on the high end is where I have taken profit taking or minim mitigated losses, I should say, um, in in the current year. So uh, this is all I have for you to show show you tonight. But I wanted to let you know um, this is severity of this is uh, I think uh, needs action, and to. I, I believe in my my professional judgment we should we should sell some of these bonds mostly the most of the bonds and realize the loss um, going back to a slide earlier that I had here 
when when the bonds were at f f um, you know five and six percent, we had some six and seven percent agency bonds. That's why we were able to collect six point nine million dollars over the, that lifespan, when the pool was earning since two thousand nine less than a half a percent on average. Uh, it's not a mistake that agencies we've been successful at those, and that's why I've done real well. This just this sharp. This sharp increase in the graph that I just showed you earlier in the last month and a half <coughs> has caught everybody surprised. So, thank you, Don. Uh, I, any questions? I know that Gary has something to add too, but I I want to say that you you have served the city well, and I know this is a really difficult circumstance for you to find us in too. Uh, the uh, urgency of it, the severity of it came, just came to my attention and that of the City Council President just this afternoon. And because of your stellar record and the great confidence that we have in you, uh, you know, I think, I hope you feel, you know, not, not responsible for what's happening at the national level of <laughs> the economy. But, but I know that it's uh, something that uh, we'd like to have the City Council discuss tonight. I ask that this be brought forward as a report because we are dealing with an uncommon circumstance and the magnitude of the sale that you're proposing is such that I think, you know, public airing of, uh, of the public financial circumstances. Yeah, I tried matters. to mitigate. Um, I showed a slide earlier about trying to, to mitigate these losses and I thought they would bounce but and and then this the remaining bonds that the city has are are, are large steps mm -hmm. and my assumption was that those as they step up that they would be called we had a bond uh, notice today that one of the bonds got called but but and I but I knew that three four weeks ago mm -hmm. so yeah um, but this uh, these other ones I there's not much we can do except except not not doing anything would be a mistake. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 